Hello from Slovenia again. I really like that uh, leaky cup that I did yesterday with uh, black and reds and gold. So today I will use some purples. I will use permanent blue violet and permanent red violet from Amsterdam both and PBO iridescent precious gold and of course white. And in this cup, I mixed um, primary cyan from cyan from Amsterdam, and I added a little bit of this iridescent blue black, not a little bit, quite a bit, and I end up with kind of a teal, teal, dark teal color, deep teal color. I don't know. I like it, and I hope to get some nice iridescent look to it and of course iridescent green yellow this color is beautiful too so for my leaky cup i did eight this is just um, uh, it's not plastic it's uh, paper <laughs> cup uh, and i put two sides that tape that it it's sticky on both sides and I will just stick my huge push pen into onto this cup and I have this really deep canvas you see it's that deep like my fingers so quite deep and I think that this should look nice. I hope that these colors will play nice together. So uh, I just have to figure out my order. Of course, I will start with white. And let's do this purple and blue. And something like this. Oops. And I will hold my cup. So I will add quite a bit of white for start. And let's pour some violet in and some blue and this red violet and gold I really like this feathery effect when this paint's coming through screen. Add some white again. And purple, blue violet. Little mixture. And the red violet. And gold. I want to have this um, pattern 
on the sides too so I will add one more layer of paint. I will just wait a little bit that the paint will flow out, drip out, I have to say, because it's dripping at the end. While I'm doing this, I will pour some white around for my flow extender, especially on my corners, because I want to keep as much this pattern as I could. So we'll just push my white. There, so okay. This corner is done too. Oh. and I will be done and then we will remove our leaky cup <laughs> uh, and if you didn't uh, watch my previous video with this about that I did this technique I said that I was inspired by Jeremy from Mossy Art Studio so Can check their channel too. Uh, I did mess up a little bit of my middle part, but I will leave it like it is anyway. So just a little spin first. enough paint and this is good because I need it for my deep sides okay Think that I will leave it like this. Maybe one more spin just to. Stretch. 
stretch this a little more. Okay, and I think I'm done. I will just wash my hands real quick and take you for a close-up. Okay, so this is, and you see because I have these deep edges, I have to, I had, I need enough paint that it will be covered nicely. And just look at all this gorgeous things that I'm not sure about my middle my center but I like this feathers around really like them and when this um, Paints will be dry, you know, because this green is iridescent and gold and in blue I have some iridescent So it will be Really nice I think You see these drips here, maybe I will even do something with those drips Because I don't know about them, but maybe they have to be there. I see a scorpion there. I really, really, really like it. And see that I still need to uh, work on my edges a little bit but otherwise I covered my sides and they are just gorgeous so this is it for today tell me what you think about this and did you try that Probably I should just lift my cup a little earlier. This is the only thing that I think that I should do differently. Otherwise, I'm happy. So this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!